Okay? In the first finger exercise you see, we have the tablature line there, and we're going to do down, up, down, up with our right hand, but we're going to put our first finger on this first fret on the first string. So it'll actually end up, we'll be playing that four times, down, up, down, up. And then we move to the second finger, and we do the same thing. Then we do the third finger, and the fourth, and back down. So if I played that, I'll play it nice and slow. You try and play it with me. First finger, first fret on the first string, and we're going to go down, up, down, up, nice and evenly. You ready? Let's play. Down, up, down, up. Now your second finger, put him on the second fret. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Now your third finger on the third fret. Down, up, down, up. Your fourth finger now, your pinky, stretch him way out there. Up, down, up. Now back to the third. Down, up, down, up. Second. There you go. And first. Now, this may be a little tricky at first to do. Everybody thinks they know how to control their fingers until you start playing guitar. Then you realize that you don't really, your brain really doesn't tell your pinky to move uh, independently of the others very often. So uh, we have to kind of train our fingers to do what we need them to do. Let's do that exercise one more time, a little bit faster. Try and be steady. You ready? Here we go. Let's play. Up, down, up. Second finger with no breaks in between, right from one to the other. Third finger. Fourth finger now, down, up, down, back to third, you're doing great. Here comes second. Nice and steady. Then back to first. go. Now we did that on the first string, the E string. Now we're going to go to the second string, the B string. And let's try that one more time. This is still exercise number one. We're just going to do it on the second string now. Ready? Play. Second finger now. Make sure you're not getting any buzzes. Put a lot of pressure on those fingers. Here comes the fourth, pinky, back to third now, second finger, and first finger. Very good, very good. Now, probably right about now, your fingers are getting a little sore which is what happens right about now, because your fingers aren't used to doing that. Make sure you're using your fingertips, and your finger, um, the flesh right on your fingertips will toughen up. At this stage of the game, when you're practicing, just play until your fingers start hurting. Once they start hurting, just back off from it for a while. There's no advantage to playing through the pain or anything like that. Just, just back off from it, come back to, on it a few hours later, a little bit later on the night. Give your fingers a chance to heal up a little bit and toughen up a little bit. You'll find within about a week, they'll be nice and, and uh, strong to be able to do what you need to do. Let's go down to exercise number two. Now instead of going down, up, down, up, we're just going to go down, up. So instead of four beats, we've reduced it down to two. Let's go to the third string now. Remember the name of that third string? G, here we go. First finger, third string, good bracing. Here we go, a little bit faster, down, up, now the second string, second finger, excuse me, down, up, third finger, fourth finger, back to third, back to second, back to first. Now let's try and put them all together instead of hesitating in between each one. 
Ready? Let's try it again. Let's play. Oops. Sometimes you'll hit the wrong string, just like I did there. Let's try it one more time. This will be the third, third string, the G string. Two beats on each. Ready? Go. Next one. Third. Fourth. Back to third. Second. And first. All right, let's go up to exercise number three. Now, instead of just doing two beats, we were doing four initially, then we were doing two. Now we're just going to be down to one. Okay, well, let's go back to the first string. Brace. Now we're just doing down strokes on all these. So it should just be down, 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 down. Let's try it. Ready? First string, go. Down. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. Back to third, second, and first. You should really do each of these exercises on all the strings. It'll take a little bit of time, and it's pretty tricky at first, but as you do it more and more, your fingers will get better very quickly in, in uh, being accurate on where they need to go. It may seem difficult and a little hesitancy right now. Uh, you may be trying to move your third finger, and it just takes you a second before you can actually move that third finger. That's what, that's what these exercises are for. They're not meant to be great music at this point. Before we can get to making great music, I've got to get this hand and this hand firing together. So that's what these exercises are for. Uh, last two, very quickly, exercise number four, we're going to work out finger independence. We're going to go one, two, first to second finger, and then first finger to third finger, first finger to fourth finger, first to third, first to second. So it'll be like one, two, one, three, one, four, one, three, one, two, and one. Let's go back to that first string one more time. We'll do this one nice and slow. Ready? Play. One, now two. Okay, then back to one. We're going to go one, three. One, three. And back to one. We're going to go one, four. One, four. Now we're going to do one, three again. One, three. One, two. One, two. And then back to one. Let's do that one a little bit faster now. Ready? Play. One, two, one, three, one, four, one, three, one, two, one. Very good. I know that may be a little bit quick for you right now, but do it a couple more days and then you'll be, you'll be smoking on it. Okay? The last one, exercise four, this is the last one I want to touch touch on. This works out our pinky. We're going to go four, three, four, two, four, one. Then it just does it again. Four, three, four, two, four, one. Let's do it on a low string. Let's do it like on the fifth string, that A string. You ready? Nice and slow. Ready, play. Four, three, four, two, four, one. Make sure that wrist is down nice and low. You're bracing, you got your, your pick fingering all right. Ready, go, let's try it one more time. Four, three, four, two, four, one. Very good. Okay, we're gonna talk about chords now. I know you've been waiting for chords this whole lesson, waiting through all of these finger exercises, and now we're finally at last to where we're starting to talk about chords, which is the stuff you wanted to learn when you, when you wanted to learn guitar anyway. Uh, chords are written in chord blocks. Uh, it's, again, it's a notation that, chord, that uh, guitarists use to notate chords. Basically, what you see in your book is a blank chord block. Uh, basically, it's a diagram of the picture of the end of your guitar. If you can imagine the end of your guitar being like this, the dark line at the top of the diagram is the nut right here, and then it goes down with each fret as you come down the chord diagram. As you go across, from top, from side to side, horizontally, it goes across the strings. Just imagine like it would be a picture of the top of your guitar, going from the strings across like that. Now, the different lines and the different circles mean different things, so let me just explain those real quick before we get into that. An open circle 
on the, you'll notice on the bottom diagram, an open circle, it has an open circle over that first string. What that is telling you is to play that string, but it's going to be open. You're not going to be fingering any note with it. It'll be just like that. And then let's see what's happening on the second string. You've got a filled in circle on that first fret. That's telling you they want you to put your first finger on that first fret, okay, and play that note. So we've got an open one on the first, first finger on that second string. The third string, we've got another open. And then look what's happening on that fourth string. We've got a filled in circle over the second fret. That means put your finger there. Now, which finger do you use? Well, the number underneath that filled in circle, that two, is telling you that they want you to use a, your second finger to do that. They will, the numbers will not always be there but uh, sometimes they're there. So that too is telling you they want you to use your second finger for that. On the fifth string, we've got our third finger there on that third fret. So let's see if we can play all of these together. Okay? Very good. Now you'll notice on the fifth string, we've got an X. Excuse me, on the sixth string, the bottom string, we've got an X. What is that telling you? Well, that's telling you not to play that string. Some chords are six string chords, some chords are five string chords, some chords are four string chords. This one is a five string chord, this C chord that we're learning now. So we don't play that six string at all. So make sure don't get sloppy and play that six string anyway. That wouldn't be right. You're just playing from the fifth string down. Now you try it. got to press those fingers down in order to get it to sound out right. Okay, you ready to learn your first two chords? The first chord is a C chord. Now you'll notice on this diagram it doesn't have anything over that sixth string. Sometimes an X will be there to tell you not to play that string. Sometimes if it doesn't have anything on that string, a filled in circle or an open circle, it's telling you not to play that string as well. They just give you the ones that you're actually supposed to be playing. Let's try that C chord one more time, starting at that fifth string. We're going to go through it each string, one string at a time. Ready? Starting on the fifth string. Third finger, second finger, open, first finger, and open. Now we're going to play all of them together. Ready? Get back up at the fifth, fifth string, let it loose. We're going to play them all together. Ready? Go. One more time. Now, sometimes your chord may sound, if you don't have your fingers in the right spot, you may kind of get a couple notes that aren't sounding particularly right or they're buzzing in some, in some respect. Check your hand position. Well, this is that C that I was trying to play on that fifth string, and it's too far back. I've got to move that finger where it's just hugging up behind that fret, and then he comes out nice and clear. Now, if you don't have good hand strength, and that's what we're building up right now, it may kind of, even though you have your finger in the right spot, it may come out as kind of a dead note like that. The only difference between this and this is putting my fingers down a little bit stronger. I didn't, if you notice, I didn't move my fingers at all. It's basically how hard I'm pressing them down. And if you press them down hard enough, eventually that chord will open up and blossom up. That's a C chord. Now, the second chord we're going to learn is a G7 chord. C is probably the most common chord you're ever going to find. G7 is probably the next common, most common chord you're ever going to play. Here, let's go through it string by string. That first string, I've got my first finger on that first fret. Then the second string, third string, and the fourth string are all open. Well, that's easy. Now, on the fifth string, I've got my second finger, and on the sixth string, the lowest string, that E string, remember, I've got my third finger. Let's play them all together. And now all together. Very good. Okay, if you look at exercise number one, if you look at exercise number one, it goes through the C and the G7th chord alternating between the two. 
So let's start with that. Here's the C chord. Take a second. Get all of your fingers in the right spots. And that diamond right there is just telling you that you play that C chord and just hold it until it's time for the next G7. So let's play that C chord first. Ready? Go. Now let's switch over to that G7. I can move my third and second finger just up a string and I move my first finger down a string and I'm there. Now I go back to the C chord. I move those back into place there. This one up and I'm at a C chord. Back to the G seventh. And now to the C chord. We better try that one one more time. Somehow, getting all those chords and the, the fingers together and all that takes a little bit of time and effort. Let's do that one one more time.